Okay, here's a 2012 Kia Sereno with a V6. We're changing the alternator. I've seen a bunch of videos on it. They did all kinds of crazy stuff. They pulled the compressor loose and brought it out the bottom and jacked the engine up and took motor mounts loose. And I, we didn't have to do any of that stuff. That's why I thought I'd shoot this little quick video. Uh... I don't know if this video is going to be for a do-it-yourself or not, but maybe more like for experienced mechanics already, but here's the deal. Pull your plastic engine cover off. Pull this piece of plastic off right here. It runs along behind the grill. It's got a couple plastic push pins. Get these couple pieces of air duct that hook to your breather box and air filter out of the way. Uh... There's uh, two brackets, brackets here on each side, they go down in here and hold the radiator in place, take those two loose, take two bolts out of the top of your fan, you can see there's the fan, take the two bolts out of the top of the fan, reach down in there and push your little tab and unhook your fan, lean the radiator forward, pull the fan straight up out of here take the tire off and a plastic cover here go right up in there I used a swivel and some extensions and got on the bottom bowl and the alternator it's 14 millimeter took it right out I came up here I reached right down in there between the radiator and the frame I got my wire off the back of the alternator and unplugged it I went right down through the side there and took the top bolt out of the alternator and when I pried it loose alternator came right across right over top of the cat right over here and came right out the hole where the battery used to be and laid right in the battery tray piece of cake probably didn't take uh, I don't know 30 maybe 40 minutes at the most to have the alternator out of the car uh, on the way back in, the bottom bolt, you can put it in the alternator first. Don't tighten it, but put it in there, because when you sit it down there in the engine, there's going to be a hook on the block that you can sit the alternator on, just flip it up and put the top bolt in. It's a lot easier job than it looks. Uh, when you first look at it, you think, oh my God, but when you get into it, it's not that bad. So, uh, I hope it helps y'all out. This has to be the easiest way to do it, and I didn't have to take a compressor loose or a motor mount or anything. I just, some push pins and a fan, pretty much, and I was in there. That's it for now. I'll post it up today.